Okay, firstly, sorry about the quality for the next 20 seconds. This part was filmed on my iPhone. Today we're at the Atlantis for the Ramadan tent. So this tent is open for Iftar and for Suhoor, and I think it closes around maybe 5 a.m. Iftar is a buffet, but we actually went for Suhoor. Anyway, as we do, we had some food, some tea, some shisha, and we ordered some dessert, um, and then finished with some Moroccan tea. My constant dilemma around this time is whether I stay up until Fajr or I go to sleep. And it's usually the latter that wins, to be honest. Fasting here in Dubai has honestly been so much easier than it is fasting in London. I can go about my day pretty normally and it goes fast. Whereas in London, I just feel like it drags. Like, and I don't have any energy to like go about my day normally which like defeats the whole point of fasting. You're meant to go about your life as you normally would. But I just really struggle with it. I've been wiping my face for like a few minutes and makeup's not coming off. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna finish doing my skincare and then read, soldier through the next two hours and I will see you in the morning. Almost time for food. That's actually all I go to uh, every day. Eating. Do you know, we like the shades? I really cannot make my mind up about them. What do you think? If you're familiar with South Asian food in West London, like Bar West London, you might know a restaurant called Gifters. And apparently, they have a franchise um, here in Dubai. I've not actually been to the London one since like 2008 or something, and it wasn't that great. Don't know going back. But apparently Dubai one's really good, so we were having our own diet there. I think so, yeah, it usually is where the It smells like it. Yeah, that's why My sister was like, why are you showing people gift shows of all the things they like to do and see in Dubai? It's called keeping it real. Not everyday bougie. But yeah, time to repeat the process again tomorrow. So, good night. Bye.